Hey, what's up guys? So today I want to talk about how to hit a short roll shot. And most people just don't know how to hit this shot the right way. And they make a couple of crucial mistakes, okay? I'll tell you the mistakes first and then I'll show you how I teach hitting this shot. Mistake number one is having your hand like this. Okay, you see how my palm's facing straight up to the sky? Okay, so now, in order for me to hit a soft shot here, I'm gonna hit the bottom of the ball because my palm's pointed up. I'm gonna hit the bottom of the ball. I can't accelerate on this shot because if I accelerate, I'm gonna hit it really high. It's gonna be in the air a long time. So what I have to do is, most people, what they do is they jump and they kind of decelerate and try to hit the bottom of the ball, okay? The second mistake I see is that people jump forward into the ball and they try to hit a short roll shot. It's never gonna work. All your body momentum is going forward, your hands going forward. You can't hit it short. You try to hit it short, it's gonna be a free ball. Okay? So the two things that I focus on for this shot is when you come into jump, boom, you get your fingers up really fast. Don't do this. Get your fingers up really fast, and when you hit the ball, you're gonna hit it like this. Okay? So you can accelerate. See how I can accelerate and the ball doesn't go forward? Right? Okay, so I can accelerate. So I can make this look like I'm hitting a deep high shot and hit a short roll shot. Right? Versus if I jump like this, usually typically people hang in the air. And as soon as you see someone like this hanging in the air, usually they're going to go short. And usually it's not even a good short shot. Okay? So if you learn how to do this, where well you come in, excuse me, you come in, right? You get your fingers up quickly and then you just go straight up with your fingers. Then you can hit a short roll shot. Okay, because you can accelerate and the ball doesn't go far because I'm hitting it like this. You see how I'm hitting it? Hit it like this, okay? And again, you want to come in, you want to make sure you get past the ball almost, right? You don't want any of your body momentum going forward if you're going to hit short. If anything, you want to jump away from the net, okay? So you jump, you come in here, get your fingers up, jump, boom. And if you watch my hand, right, it goes backward after I hit the ball, okay? Now, you don't necessarily always have to go backward. I know some players that are really good, they go straight up, and they can still curl their fingers forward, and the ball goes short, yeah? You just got to practice. But the key is, your fingers got to go straight up the ball, right, on the side of the ball, and you just got to create a lot of overspin, and that way you can accelerate and the ball still goes short because then from a defender standpoint, I'm coming in hard, I go like this, boom, and my arm goes straight up. It looks like I'm gonna hit a deep shot, but I hit it short, okay? So the other thing that I would recommend, first of all, you should practice this shot. So it's kinda, gonna kinda look like this, okay? You see how I accelerate? If possible, you wanna hit the ball on the way up. <coughs> Excuse me. You want to hit the ball on the way up because you create more overspin and you can accelerate better. You can do it on the way down too. You just got to practice. Okay. But the other thing I tell my students is I really don't like them trying to hit short roll shots straight across the net. Okay. Because if it goes like two feet, three feet too far, it's a free ball. Okay. So what I try to do is I tell them, hit the short roll shot, but always hit it at a cut angle. So more like this. Okay? So you see how my hand just goes straight up, but I'm hitting the side of the ball. Okay? So basically, my hand's doing this. Straight up the side of the ball to hit a short roll shot, but I hit it at the cut angle. Okay? But I can also hit it at this cut angle by hitting, going straight up the inside of the ball like this. You gotta make sure the ball's outside your right shoulder to do this. If the ball's over your head, you're gonna do this, like this, right? If the ball's here, you can go straight up, okay? But by same token, let me do it from this side. Okay, so I do, I tell my students, always hit the short roll shot at a cut angle. So it's kind of called a baby cut, right? It's a soft roll shot, short roll shot at the cut angle call it a baby cut but I'm just gonna tell you right now when you master this baby cut and you can hit the ball on the way up like I'm showing you it will go down more than any other shot you hit untouched yeah it'll go down untouched more than any other shot you hit okay 
So if you have any questions, post them in the comments, but try this out. I would say do this for a while. This is a really good drill to get you good at this. Hold the ball like this. Practice this, right? You can see how much I'm accelerating and the ball's not going anywhere, right? So the more you get good at accelerating and hitting the ball short, the more deceptive the shot will be.